How's it going, everyone? I'm Sonic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Okay, so hopefully we got our bucket back within the path of last night. Okay, the lag is still here. Yes, the bucket is back. Where are we going today, the bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfect. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... I'm not even listening to you, dude. I'm trying to rush my way to the last ending. We hear this so often. How we can find them? I don't care for now. Staircase. To a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the bucket's office. No, we did not. We walked through this door downstairs. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? I don't know. If he believed everyone had vanished, his boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe okay, so far it's the same. Himself, maybe I am crazy. <laughs> he looked down at the... I'm admittedly crazy. <laughs> the, bucket. the bucket returned his gaze. But said nothing at all. That's no. Strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley hey. realized this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone You're now else's noticing bucket. this? How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would well, come Whoa, 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 where, 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 huh? of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically <laughs> grounding presence well, my of the bucket. Well, bucket's gone. Indeed. Now he noticed the rooms were repeated, which was, of course, very odd. Now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious, he exclaimed. With uh. my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? He <laughs> must find it. Far off in no. the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. But bucket? He, he rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. What the? He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredible. I hope we're not Oh, no. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Oh, no. You this didn't mean literally, did you? Named Mariella. Okay, Mariella. This is the same as before. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. Okay, so it's a literal bucket. Whoa, well, okay. was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Just right collapsed away, dead? What the there has to be was. some kind of medical this reason for that. It couldn't have no just bucket. happened. Of course he'd gone mad. I mean... Unless it was of old age, but there's no way. I mean, look at it. predetermined, and free will is an illusion, and it's all just a video game. It could have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How dare you break the fourth wall? And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. Jeez. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work. The return uh -huh. bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself. My life kicks ass. And she <laughs> flipped all the way to work. So, they'll, they say heck yes, but they'll say ass. Why not just say hell yeah, my life is fucking awesome. Actually, I know why. <laughs> Okay, we're back. All, All right, so that's eh. what could it mean? That ending was actually very similar. A good bucket, a 
strong bucket, a humble bucket, a committed I get bucket, it. a bucket of culture and distinction. All right, time to go right. Tightly to his, this was not the correct way to the meeting. I don't care. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Yeah, and there there's was, no ending the in here. The turned out to be correct. Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Ring around the room, Paul. I don't know. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. All right, but for and one so reason. Detour through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Oh, that's the meeting room. I was like, wait, what is that? Nope, that's meeting room. Button push. Hello? Maybe we'll find out the ins and outs of this bucket. Now I'm genuinely like wondering what the heck is going on. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. I thought I burned this. It isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this... I mean, in this case, yes. Never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another <laughs> story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Okay. Um, actually, I'm curious. What is this new place? I wanted to see if there was anywhere Whee! else I could go. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go? Whee! And it played some silly music as well. And we're back to this theme. Okay. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Okay, the dialogue is falling behind because lag. The physical, visual dialogue is falling behind because lag. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. No. You can't make me. I know we've been through rough times, narrator, but come on. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I uh -huh. think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality. It's not even a to character me, it at all. It feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Is this a two-way thing? Hold on. I want to know if I can turn this off. Destroyer does. Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. No, that's not a button. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. That's a light. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. That's kind of bad. Saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What um. other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. 
Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't do oh. the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Uh -oh. Quickly now, the uh -oh. fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and. I didn't do it. I I, I literally didn't do it. I did. Oh. creation you had so much potential we were going to do such marvelous things with you tell such spell binding stories about you all of it squandered now goodbye new friend for the moment in time that you were here you were magnificent what if that happened either way around or can I actually destroy it? Five more endings. That's it. Well, six. No, five. Five. I think there are just five. All of his co workers were gone. Oh, shut up. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. How? Perhaps he would become both of those things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct... I'm not even meeting. paying attention. Again, Stanley I'm not paying attention to what you have to say, dude. Meeting. I don't Telling care. The employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Never mind. Nope. The bucket, the bucket was, was wrong. always wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go Except when it was right. Room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. I could go down there. See if in there gives me a different ending based off the fact that I have the bucket now. It might. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figma and Marines. Oh, okay. The last one, and then the Stan the Marines is the best way to say number, that. And that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You okay. can't go back to when you had no Shut Figma up, and dude. Marines. None of us can. All right, is this ending different, or is it the same? Hello? Anything makes sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. I could think of one reason, but why I'm not going to say everything it. Everything feels so. Just because I'm not certain. I've got no evidence to go off of in saying it, so I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> Weird. What do I do with this treasure? I have no control over this either. 
I can monetize it. <laughs> I can monetize the bucket. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. Oh. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful, because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? Wait. That's not... Okay, if game theorists ever see this, please figure that out. That makes me want. Is that like lore to this? Like actual horror type lore or something? What the? You know what? One more ending. And I'm gonna. I know where the last Stan Loreen is. I'm gonna skip Not over everyone it. Everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very I lucky. don't know about this bucket no more. But you know what? Stanley All the endings have to be found business. with the this bucket. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And nah, the the I don't believe the bucket no more. No, never mind. That ending I just saw made me question everything. To go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Okay. The cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Can't I'm go about to the cargo to do this. lift. Warning. What you're about to see. It's just an ending. Don't do this, IRL. Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. You know what? No, said the bucket. I don't, don't care, go bucket. To the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. Okay. Alarmed him, of course, because I do, but I'll but do Stanley the other two last. Plan. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Why? In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. Okay. I don't believe it, but all right. Okay, this will be, I, I know I keep changing it, but I promise, promise, promise. Pinky swear on my life. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. That this will be the second to last day. The last one will be unplugging. He was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Okay. Ding dong. This is a nice place, actually. Hello, Stanley, it's me, your bucket. I was trying to take me to work with you. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally okay. talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Press square to take me back home with you. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To yeah. see an illusional like this obsessing over an inanimate metal object? 
I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Whoa. I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. Wait. Where does his voice go? Don't listen to the loud man. Press... Gosh. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was what? me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all what? he cares about is his awful bucket. His stupid hunk of metal. What? What's with the sounds in the background? It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have <laughs> a to it. There's like music in the background that's like a horror type thing. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Yes, I suppose on closer inspection, but it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdy. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. That's trying to relive the same this same day with me over and over. Oh boy. Oh my god. What the say. Whoa. Better at carrying water from Where's the bucket? Oh, the bucket. right there. It's literally just a bucket. Yeah. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? No. I mean This is impressive though. This ending is impressive. Oh, what? No, no, no. Do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Aww. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... Um... Go back to work, Stanley. Was the voice at, like at the prior to the game? Is that the bucket talking to us the whole time or something? I know it's weird. It's a weird analogy, but is that what it is? I don't know. Anyway. Let's go ahead and check out that last ending, and I will skip ahead to when we can actually pull the plug. I'll see you guys there. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home. No. Whoa, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Uh, the ending ain't as funny. The ending's way too damn serious. If you actually took me seriously, where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an international you know video on comedy that one can watch to fully. Oh wait, yes, there is. Oh um, no! It's sitting right. What have I done? Look. What have I done? What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, okay, can it make be the episode. This doesn't seconds? normally happen, but Thankfully, knowing these the endings. To all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. What the hell? Are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. 
One of the reasons why I'm okay, by the way, with uh, doing a longer episode this time is because the last episode was a bit short. And then spell out your I believe. Name a second time. If not, then oops. With these I'll make the next complete, one. It's time to begin the humor. Speak the hey. entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has what? Completed, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. No! I don't want to. Nope. Nuh uh. You can not make me. See? This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. Uh. An active survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. <laughs> Why? With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the twelve-legged invader who threaten our very existence, and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles, all of us must be prepared what? to give our lives to this noble what? cause, just as our children must do after us, and their children after them. Godspeed, and may Earth reign supreme! Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. When Stanley and the butler came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this was all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely done and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? I mean, yeah. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the butler came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. All right, the one on the right. Yeah, this... What? We're back at the phone already. No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. Yeah, there what the heck? build up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What it agree doesn't. To mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of king of comedy. I'm nothing. Uh. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling wealth. I think... Uh, I think I need to go back and rewrite that instruction. Oh, oh you're doing so terrible. Well, surely that will help me improve my... And another the end. No, it's not the end yet. Well... My brain is broken. The bucket has broken my brain. We still have two innings left. So this
this one was longer, but next episode will be a little shorter because of that. I'm going to leave this here one way or the other before my brain explodes. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Eh, I might as well let this go through. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for an indie game like this that you'd like to see? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out one that's been done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right corner to try and take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link across right here and to try and take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Okay, you're done talking. You're done talking. Bye.